To be or not to be, that is the question. It's a great idea to start this lesson with Shakespeare's famous lines. Are you wondering why the grammatical theme started with Shakespearean lines? Not surprising, because the key phrase that the Danish prince utters is to be, which in turn is the topic of today's lesson. Hi there, welcome to Ling Portal Online School. Since this verb plays an important role in the language and is constantly used in speech, this video lesson will discuss the main features of the verb to be for confident use in speech. Let's learn all about the to be verb. In English, the verb to be can be used as the main verb to say different things depending on the context. Besides, it is also used as an auxiliary verb to indicate the continuous aspect of action in English tenses. Nevertheless, the most common use of to be is when we talk about names, ages, feelings, conditions, nationalities and professions. To add more, the verb to be is an irregular verb. It changes in different ways, not only in time, but also in the subject matter. Well, watch its transformation in the present. The to be can be am, is, or are. All you have to do is memorize which verb form should be used with a certain pronoun and practice them out loud because oral drilling promotes long term memorization. Let's practice together. Repeat after me. I am. He is. She is. It is. You are. We are. They are. These are full forms which are mostly used in a written formal style. In our everyday speech, we use short forms. Repeat after me. I am. I'm. He is. He's. She is. She's. It is. It's. We are. We're. You are. You're. They are. There. It is obvious. The pronouns can be replaced with nouns. For example, John is. My friends are. Your sister is. Your dog is. Please note, perfect use of the verb to be in everyday speech is achieved through constant practice. Constant constant practice. Constant practice. By the way, can you form the three structures of sentences with this verb? If not, don't worry. These are very simple once you know formulas that help to build the structures of positive, negative and question sentences. It is important to remember the position of the verb to be in these sentences. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Positive sentence formula. Subject plus to be am, are, is plus addition. He's at home. They are students. I'm reading a book. Negative sentence formula. Here you will be introduced to three variants of pronunciation of the verb to be with pronouns. Subject plus to be am, are, is plus not plus addition. I am not driving. I'm not driving. He is not at home. He's not at home. He isn't at home. They are not students. They're not students. They aren't students. Now, it is your turn to form the negative sentence. I will say the positive one. You will make the negative form. Are you ready? Here we go. 
She is my sister. She isn't my sister. We are walking. We are not walking. Perfect. And this is a formula to make a question sentence. To be, am, are, is, plus subject, plus addition, question mark. Don't forget to repeat after me. I am a teacher. The question sentence, am I a teacher? They are Irish. The question sentence, are they Irish? She is 25 years old. The question sentence, is she 25 years old? Let's practice. I will again say positive sentences. You will make question forms. English grammar is important. Is English grammar important? The short answer must be only one. Yes, it is. They are from New York. Are they from New York? I am from the UK. Am I from the UK? To this type of question, you may answer just yes or no. Anyway, it is recommended to give a polite short answer. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. However, in a case where we use w words, question words, like what, where, when, why, etc., the short answers are not fit anymore. These question sentences require open answers. For example, Where are your friends? The answer might be, My friends are at college. Who is your best friend? The answer might be, Andrew is my best friend. Well, are you happy with your English lesson? I hope you are. Now, let's look at some situations when the to be verb is used. Please memorise them. We use to be with professions. He is a writer. My friends are doctors. We use to be with age. I am 32 years old. She is 21. We use to be with places. The key is on the table. They are from Canada. We use to be when we speak about nationalities. For example, I am Russian. He is Italian. We use to be to express the qualities, state or personality, sometimes with adjectives. He is a rich man. I am a very happy person. The autumn leaves are colourful. We use to be in the constructions there are or there is. Here are the examples. There is a car in my garage. There are many people on the bus. To be can be used as an auxiliary verb to denote the continuous aspect of action. He isn't cycling at the moment. Are we learning English grammar? The verb to be is also used in the past tense. Do you remember that the to be verb is the irregular one? Here are the past forms. Be was or were been. Be was were been. Let's memorize and practice them together. Repeat after me. I was. He was. She was. It was. You were. We were. They were. Brilliant. Such repetition helps you to use these forms automatically. The question and negative sentences are mostly formed the same way as in the present tense, only in the case of past form, the verb to be changes according to the person. The negative formula is subject plus to be past form plus not plus addition. The question formula is to be past form plus subject plus addition question mark. Note, you also need to be familiar with the short forms. Was not, wasn't. Were not, weren't. And you should recognise them in speech. Listen to me and try to hear them. 
she wasn't going to buy it. That was a nice movie, wasn't it? We weren't cleaning the mess. No, you weren't inside, you were outside. Did you grasp the past forms? Well, now let's work out the negative and question past forms. I was in a hurry. I wasn't in a hurry. Was I in a hurry? We were playing golf. We were not playing golf. Were we playing golf? He was writing an essay. He wasn't writing an essay. Was he writing an essay? Did you get it right? I hope you did. Well done, everyone. See you all next time. Bye.